Woche. Guck mal zurück vom Freigang. It took me quite long uh, to become a director, but I, 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 I wrote stories nearly all of my life. And always, or more or less always, uh, the beginning of a story is, a, is an image in my head. It appears from I don't know where and why. In the case of breathing, it was uh, an old woman lies dead on the floor of her living room. And the image is quite precisely like a photography or a small clip or trailer, movie trailer. Sometimes the, uh, the persons appear in this image and uh, I try to figure out uh, what they are doing there. Uh, and uh, if the image is strong enough, uh, it stays and it forces me in a certain manner that I ask myself from which story could this image be a part of. Some weeks later, uh, as this image still was in my head, uh, a young guy appeared in this image and he didn't talk anything. And I thought to myself, well, this character is uh, quite interesting, but I, I have no, no, no use for him because he's, he's 18 years old, I would have said, as I, I looked at him. I couldn't ask him because he wouldn't answer me. And I thought, well, a, a guy of his age never would work in a mortuary or try to get the job there voluntarily. And this word was it when I said or thought voluntarily, uh, and I thought that this never would work, I thought, well, maybe it's the contrary. Maybe it's involuntarily that he is here or wants to be in this story. Because at that moment, I forgot to say, it was around two or three weeks after the image appeared, I knew at least that it's going to be a story about mortuary workers. So I knew this old lady, it's no crime case or suspense thriller movie. No, it's just an ordinary working class story about people whose job it is to carry corpses. People where death is the employer. After I had my, uh, my story, uh, the situation, uh, the uh, location, the mortuary stuff and my lead character, uh, I knew quite soon that uh, I would need uh, uh, research. I knew that uh, I, I won't be able to write a proper uh, script uh, in this uh, environment without knowing it precisely, especially the mortuary uh, environment and, and the youth detention center. I started to research there, I started to work with, uh, not really work, but I, 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 I went with them, uh, with the mortuary workers for several weeks. Early in the morning we started to make the tours around the hospitals and watch them carrying corpses, driving to the uh, cemeteries, back and forth, and uh, listening to them and um, observing them. And the same it was in the youth detention center. I was lucky that uh, the, the director of the prison, in charge of the prison, she allowed me to do research there unofficially. It wasn't really the, the Ministry of Justice wasn't very happy about the idea. But uh, I, I got my research even there. <laughs> I found out that there in the youth detention center, there is only one youth detention center in Austria for male uh, young prisoners. And they had a swimming pool there. Uh, and I thought, wow, this is, uh, this is great, because uh, in, the, uh, in, the, in an earlier draft of the script, I, uh, I had only the idea that he is running uh, outside in a, in, a, in a yard, and there is something happening with uh, his that he, he, he gets breathless or, or something like that, that I have the motif of, of breathing even in the, in, the, in the prison. But when I found out that they have a swimming pool, I thought, uh, 
this is great because it's literally a completely new element which, which comes to the story. Water, uh, is especially uh, in a uh, in, in sense of photography, I knew that this is very special. Uh, we, uh, it's, it's a very strong metaphor for so many things, of course, for a sort of uh, an element where you cannot breathe, but on the other hand, it gives you a sort of shelter situation as for my lead character. There is a connotation with, of course, with birth or a mother, uh, which is very important in the story. It slows speed, it slows down speed, so it, it's, it's a, a natural sort of slow motion uh, character down there. This last scene in the, in the pool, we had a lot of discussions, especially with my producer. He always asked me, what, 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 what is it? Is it happy or is it, is, it, is, it, is it sad there? And I told him, I don't know, what, what is it for you? It's, it's a space for projection. And this sort of meditation or so is more for, for us as a visitors. Or, for, or my concept was to, 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 to give it to the, to the audience more than to the lead character. I knew that uh, this character has to be 18 years old and not uh, a 23 a year old uh, actor who looks quite young and we could believe that he is 18. Uh, my son is uh, 21 now. I know boys at this age, when they are around 18, uh, they have moments they are real grown-ups. Uh, and 10 minutes later there is something and you look into their eyes and you think, well, he's a child. He's just a little child. And I knew I need this. So it was completely clear for me, you cannot, you, 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 you need an 80-year-old an uh, uh, person, guy, boy, man, uh, and uh, I wouldn't find an actor at this age uh, with, with, with practice. So we cast it at schools and uh, on the street and uh, 200 boys uh, showed up for the for first casting uh, and, and one of them was, was Thomas. And it was my, my wife who said at a very early time, I have a special look on, on Thomas. And, and she was right. Thomas has never acted before in his life. Never, not even a school theater or things like that. He has a, a sort of self-confidence that is extremely positive because it's, it's not that he thinks he's able to do everything but he is, has the courage to try everything. I think we both took it not too seriously. We just took it as it was a play. Why we call it a play and why we call actors are, or we say actors are playing. It's nothing, it, it doesn't mean that it's childish. It, it means what it means, we play. And it's very important not to destroy this process of playing by too much thinking, too much preparation, by reading a lot of books and uh, researching uh, people who have the same profession we play. And so. This m may be helpful and is helpful very often. But we must not overdo it, I think. Especially not in his case, when he had no experience at all. I think this would have been uh, completely the wrong way, without any skills to do as if I had one. <laughs>